where the Republican Party goes from here. Who are the faces, who are the names that you're going to be paying a lot of attention to in the next couple of years? Well, they're the obvious ones. Uh, Paul Ryan, Marco Rubio, Rob Portman, Chris Christie. Uh, they're going to, Susanna Martinez, Kelly Ayotte, Bob McDonald. There are going to be a number of them. In fact, there are going to be some names pop up here in the next couple of years that we aren't talking about now because the opportunities for advancement, we've got this terrific generation of younger leaders who are going to come to the fore and, and how the next couple of years plays out from a policy perspective and who sort of grabs the imagination of Republicans and of the American people, who does their homework, who turns out to be a workhorse, not a show horse. Those things are going to cause some names to pop to the surface and are going to cause some of these other names to rise and fall. Uh, in a pretty exciting way. It's going to be a wonderful time to watch the, the, the next generation of Republican leadership emerge. You know, that list of names uh, takes us to an intriguing point, at least what I consider to be an intriguing point. The states, the governors you mentioned, Virginia, Ohio, Wisconsin, those are states Republicans won at the state level in 2010. They lost at the presidential level. How do you explain the disconnect between, uh, you know, doing well in those uh, purple states in, pres in state elections and not doing well in presidential elections? Well, part of it has to do with the presidential election uh, turnout and the pres election, presidential election electorate and, and versus a midterm. But also, look, each candidate has his own strengths and weaknesses. And Scott Walker and John Kasich, both of whom were governors in purple states that voted Republican in 10 and voted presidential in, in, in 12, both of them, right. I suspect, are going to have are going to be people that, are, that we're going to have to watch because they're going to be rising in significance. S political leaders do have the ability to change and mold their states, and success at the state level in both of those states will cause both states to be more competitive in the presidential election as they were this year. Remember, Ohio went from uh, you know nearly a 300,000 vote victory for Obama four years ago to a 107,000 vote victory. It was a blowout, I think, 14 points four years ago in Wisconsin and much closer race this time around. And I think in part that's a testament to the success of those two governors.